everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today's vlogs, ayan. gagawa tayo ng reaction and opinion about the issue of the day ni Amanda Obdam, which is yung transparency about the pandemics of COVID-19. So before we start guys, if you never subscribe our channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos updates para updated ka sa ating mga uploaded videos na tulad nito. Let's watch. Recently, the news of COVID-19 has gained a lot of attention in Thai society. One thing that gained my attention more than the number of people infected is the transparency in our information in the event that we are infected. The public health concerns the safety and well-being of everyone in society. Therefore, we all have the accountability of being transparent in our information. No one should fall victim of being infected. Transparency is one of the key factors that is going to help us fight this pandemic. It's not only from individuals, but also from the government and the health administration. Kaya na guys, narinig na natin ang explanation and opinion of Amanda Obdam about the crisis of the pandemics, which is ang COVID-19. So, kailangan natin ng transparency from the government, from a local to the national government, and not only from our government, and also from the Department of Health and Hospitals. Kasi sila lang naman ang nakakaalam kung ano ba talaga ang totoong nangyari sa isang tao. Like example for me, I also do want to be a victim of false information like example kung magkasakit man ako and then they will declare me as a covid patients ayoko mangyari yun kasi malaking impact yun sa aking pamilya kasi once na mayroon man lang isa sa inyo naging positive sa covid-19 ang tingin kasi ng mga tao sa inyo is para kayong kriminal ayoko mangyari yun Marami akong naririnig sa labas ng mga istorya ng mga tao na mayroon daw namatay dahil sa high blood, mayroon namatay dahil na sa gasaan, mayroon namatay dahil sa katandaan, namatay dahil kinagat ng aso, but they will declare as a COVID patients. Kasi kapag i-declare nila yun, yung babayaran mo sa hospitals is malibri. And then yung mga tao na walang wala sa buhay, syempre mag-a-agree yun. Kasi, ano lang naman yung 14 days quarantine. And then, kung ikwa-quarantine yan sila, magiging free yung quarantine days nila dyan. So, gobyerno ang mag-shoulder ng lahat ng mga ano nila, gastusin doon. So, nasaan na yung transparency doon? Nawala na. And then, to fight these pandemics, kailangan natin magtulungan sa bawat isa. Hindi yung maglukuhan sa bawat isa. Kaya, labanan natin ang pandemics na ito, yung totoo yung totoo talagang nangyari sa isang tao, hindi yung maling information na i-declare yung tao na COVID patients, COVID victims, kahit hindi naman totoo, kaya ayan guys so comment below guys kung ano yung mga opinion ninyo about the crisis natin sa pandemics which is yung COVID-19 kasi alam kong marami din kayong masasabi about that yung transparency talaga na totoong nangyari sa isang tao hindi yung i-declare ka lang ng COVID para maging libre yung babayaran mo sa hospital diba? so ayan guys just comment below guys your opinion and I will uh, babasahin ko yan lahat and then Thank you guys for watching. See you on my next vlog. Bye everyone. All right, all right.